Greetings, people of Earth, and welcome to the Hell Witch, the Forsaken pre-show. It is one half hour before we launch. We're launching Hell Witch, the Forsaken then. With me tonight, as always, is Mad Mike McLean. Mike, hey, what's up? Hey, everybody. Hey, all the fiends out there. Yeah, man, what's happening? So, ostensibly, we're here to discuss Hell Witch, the Forsaken. In this next half hour, we're going to show you all the cool stuff that we have to offer. We're going to carry on, and then we're going to launch this puppy. Are you guys with me? Yeah! 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 <laughs> I am joined tonight by the Coffin Crew, and as ever, we have our veteran launch team, Mr. Nick Napalm and Mr. Jeff Fang. And again, and also pulling up the rear is the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making an appearance. Our brand new on probation. No. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was okay, you're a rookie though. You <laughs> you're you're no longer a probie, but you're a you're rookie. New. I am a rookie. All right, so that's uh, Psycho Sean, psycho your server. customer service manager in the house, getting ready to answer. All your questions when we go live for add-ons and how the heck you even do Kickstarter. Mike, how you feeling? Here we are a year later after the first Hell Witch launch. Um, I'm feeling great. I'm looking so much forward to this. I was blown away by the last Kickstarter. I, I just don't know what to expect tonight. I'm, I, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know that much to. So I'm it's excited. Always, it's always crazy before we launch a kit. Like, I don't know. We, we don't know what to expect. You know, we, uh, we pray humbly to the comic gods every time. So, Mike, before I get into this and show people some of the cool rewards we have, let's talk a little bit about the story. So, let's give a little bit of a background for the first Hell Witch, Hellborn, what she's about a little bit, and then let's talk about the Forsaken in particular. Sure. Well, the first Hellborn, uh, Hell Witch, Hellborn number one, um, takes place, it's obviously in the past, kind of the origin of Hell Witch, and we see her rise from a lowly, nameless pit slave. Um, work her way up through the caste system of her hive to become a, a force to reckon with um, in her hive. Um, in doing so, she kind of pisses off some of the wrong people, including the queen of her hive. Um, so as she's rising through the ranks, and, and she, she finds a lover, she um, pisses Gotha. off Gotha, she pisses off some of the wrong people, and of course they use that against her. Um, so they, they punish Hell Witch by massacring Gotha. They send her to oblivion. So, um, of course, in very coffin fashion, um, Hell Witch seeks revenge. She decimates the queen and her lackeys, um, destroys her own hive, and kind of stumbles out of the ashes. And that's kind of where we left the story. Except there was somebody waiting for her as she came out, and that was the sinister seance. Um, the probably the most nefarious warlock yeah. in all of hell. So yes. That was the first uh, Hell Witch, Hellborn, uh, number one. And so that's where it left off. But now, here we are a year later, the Forsaken. What can we tease the uh, readers and collectors out there about this particular story without giving too much away? Well, it does take place at an undetermined time later after the first one. And Hellwitch has been under the tutelage of Seance, um, learning the dark arts of magic. Um, what happens though is she still has empathy, um, which is a no no. Compassion. And compassion and mercy. So, this is not, those aren't, you know, beneficial if you're learning the dark arts. So, Seance casts her out into the wasteland. Um, she, to, to wander the wasteland, basically, um, she's told to get rid of your empathy or you can't come back. And if you do, you're going to face consequences. So she's cast down the wasteland. She has no purpose, no family, her home, even though it was a horrible place, the only home she has ever, has ever known is ashes now. And in that, she ends up, how much do we want to give away? Not you? a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> you got to read so, it. Yeah, you got to read it. Back this Kickstarter and read it. So that's that's where we leave, and, and needless to say, she's she's um, she's a hellborn looking for a purpose in life. Um, she she's purposeless, walking through the desert, wandering, and that's kind of when bad things kind of happen when you're looking to find yourself sometimes. Yeah, it's like so, staying out after midnight. It's like nothing good happens after midnight, and it's midnight all the time for midnight hellborn. Midnight all the time, right? 
Well, uh, that's a little tidbit of what the story is about. But without further ado, let's get into some of the rewards that we can have offer. And I'm going to ask Mike to step over sure. here for a moment, and he can continue his beer. And we can just check in with the countdown clock. We have 24 minutes or less to go, and I humbly encourage everybody, if you do not have a Kickstarter account, please go to kickstarter.com and sign up and make an account. And if you have an account, great. Get your finger on the button. We do encourage you to back the Kickstarter as soon as humanly possible because we have some cool goodies. And I'm about to show you some of those goodies right now. Without further ado, boom. Here's the cover of the Hell Witch with the Forsaken Premier Edition by returning contributor, Mr. Mike Chrome, colored by frequent contributor, C.C. De La Cruz. Beautiful. Hell Witch, Hell, uh, The Forsaken, is gonna be a 40-page square-bound book, but there's a very good chance that a stretch goal would be adding eight additional pages, bringing it to a grand total of 48 pages of story and art in beautiful square-bound format. Not saddle stitch, which is the staples, square-bound. Next up, returning champion, Marat Michaels, Dan Feldmeyer, and return to do the homage edition. For you super comic nerds like uh, everyone else here in this room, this is an homage to the classic Hulk 181, which is the first book that introduced Wolverine. And in this one, we are depicting a battle between Hell Witch and Lady Death. And Mike, while we're on that subject, um, Looking towards the future, maybe not 2020, but maybe in 2021, can you foresee a time where there is a solid rematch between Lady Death and Hell Witch? Well, I don't, I don't think it's possible that they won't have a rematch. Um, they're Ooh. destined to come together at some point. And I think we, we've talked a little bit about it, of making it the most epic, epic battle scene that people have ever Ever seen. And that's saying a lot. I remember many years ago in the late 90s, we had a, a story where Lady Death was going to fight another character called Purgatory, and some people didn't think we delivered the goods, and I think that's true. So I know it is, for me, my own revenge that we would make this an epic battle. So if it's 48 pages, I'm thinking like 30 pages of battle. So stay tuned for that. Moving onward, because people demand it, we have the original art edition. This one is suitable for drawing your favorite characters. Maybe you get these cool artists that are contributors to do uh, an image. There's a lot of uh, great collectors who are also very good art directors and they get they elicit wonderful, wonderful work out of uh, folks. So it's always great to see that. Moving onward, the wonderful Paolo Pantalena will contribute the hardcover. Now this is a mock-up and these are all mock-ups so there's really nothing in them. The hardcover will actually be 16 point card, 48 page interior, but this is the beautiful image by Paolo Pantalena and Arif Prianto. Next up, we have Risque Edition. Risque Edition by Sun K. Now, uh, many of you know that I'm a big fan of Sun K's art, and you could expect a lot more Sun K art in the next year. She contributed the Risque Edition. And due to Facebook standards, we do cover up uh, for, in many of these editions, you will notice. Uh, myself and, uh, and over here, uh, Julia Maraca had to cover up a lot in this campaign. A lot of so, nipple cover up. A lot of nipple cover up, because you know how harmful nipples can be. They're dangerous. They're, they're dangerous. So, <laughs> next up, we have the jeweled edition by Nathan Surdy. And what was really neat is we had Princess Jewel come in and she was able to actually do the jewel mock-up. So you could get a sense of the actual Swarovski crystals in here. And as a super fiend pointed out, uh, this is the third in the Trinity by Nathan Zerdi. He did a Lady Death, a La Muerta, and now he has done this beautiful Hell Witch. So that edition, a reward can be yours for $50. Um, and next up we have returning champion Dawn McTagg. Don McTagg, our pal and frequent contributor, is contributing the Holofoil edition. So this is a mock-up of, of it. Cool action pose, Hell Witch jumping out of this cathedral. Even the back looks super cool. Again, just a mock-up, but um, that is a $50 reward. And then John Boy Myers comes back and contributes what we call the heavy metal edition. Now, right now, it's not affixed to a back, but uh, it will be. And this is 100% John Boy Myers. Incredible. Now, you'll notice over here in the center is what we're calling the legend here. But I am not going to show that to you yet. Whoa, we have 20 minutes. No. Why? Show 
Should we show? Show it. Do 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 it. Yeah. Do it. Let's do it. You can do it. All right. So let's double check our clock. We're there 19 minutes before we launch. Oh. We're encouraging everybody, get your buttons ready, get onto that Kickstarter. We're gonna put the live links all over the place on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, on our website, etc., etc. Or just be ready and have the little search bar open and write in hell, which, the, and boom, you should get there. All right, so you heard about the Legend Edition. So we have a tier called the Legend, and that's our highest tier, which you get all the goodies we're gonna show you and more. But at the very upper tier, we invite a phenomenally popular artist every time and we, we do these crazy limited editions man so this time for the legends here we have Woo! Lucio Perillo Lucio Perillo fantastic uh, the guy's incredible he's he has a gigantic body of work he's super popular the print runs of his books run into the tens of thousands but if you could believe it what we're doing here is we're about to show you the whole set, but we're limiting it to 60 serial number matched sets. That's it. Moving on. The risque edition of the Legend set by Lucio Prilio. And those are the best nipples. They're, uh, we can't show you the nipples, but, but spectacular. Presidente. <laughs> they are so spectacular. Okay. And here you <laughs> have it. They're very detailed. Appreciate that. Very detailed. Thank you, Lucio. And then also rounding out the set is the Risque Sketch. Uh, with Lucio's permission, I thought it was great to show you guys the concept that Lucio sent over and was approved. It was great. And next up, as rounding out the Legend set, is a Mystery Edition. <gasps> and it, what? <laughs> and it's going to remain a mystery. And, and some of you guys and gals are going to like PM us and they're going to say, well, if I get it graded, can you show it to me? No. <laughs> so you're going to learn what this edition is once you get it in your hands. Um, we always endeavor to make sure that it's really cool, but like the rest of the uh, set, it'll be serial numbered, it'll be matched, and uh, it's not invisible. But I'd like to think that we will deliver the goods. Former mystery artists have been um, guys like Mike Chrome and others, uh, Monty Moore, etc. So that's a little bit of that. Let's see, what else should we discuss now? How shall we discuss? Do you guys want to see what the well? Shoot, now I'm seeing the time. Oh, yeah. So here we are. Here's the time. The time. We have about 17 minutes. Hurry up. We have our our team standing by. Nick is bored. <laughs> <laughs> Working hard. Oh yes. Jimmy, want to do you want to stand up and show people yeah, how you're doing? Ow, ow, Nick, <laughs> show, show us. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Whoa! Slim, Slim, Slim. Hey, what's up, Slim? <laughs> what up, Slim? Good Slim. job, Nick. Good job, man. Good. Good job. Sixteen minutes left. Uh, real quickly, what I'd like to do is show you mystery envelope. So mystery envelope. So this time the mystery envelope will be limited to 440 envelopes comprising of the following. First up, we have the Obsidian Edition. This is a gorgeous image by Mr. Mike Chrome. It'll be limited to 13. We will tip in 10 to the Kickstarter. Uh, we do offer what we call raw editions, this black and white art through diamond, and the print runs are usually around 400. So the idea that we compressed it down to 13 is ridiculous, but that's kind of what we do. Next up, we are going to tip in two publisher copies, uh, not pictured, but five Omega editions, several BP editions, artist proof editions. So they'll all be related to Hell Witch and of a very limited nature. Next up, we return. Dan Mendoza returns with the Necro Sketch, Necro Sketch editions. Cover C and D, following up what he did last year. These are straight, amazingly limited to 40 copies. What? What? Dan Mendoza, 40 copies. And then, incredibly, we have Dawn McTague's series of, whoops, no we don't. Let me put that away. Just kidding. Of um, commission editions. Oh, so <gasps> Check out these Dawn McTagues. Oh, so really nice. So these will be limited to 65 copies a piece. I don't know what I was thinking. 
I mean, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, these could easily be limited to 333 copies. People would still be happy. Um, a uh, super collector out there got a beautiful commission uh, by wow. the one and only Elias Chatzoudis. And so we are including that beautiful commission also, which is limited to 50 copies. So again, Elias Chatzoudis, 50 copies. What am I thinking? It's ridiculous. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> And then I will totally mispronounce and mangle Anna's last name, so I'm going to call her Anna Z. I was calling her Anna Zucco, and she was making fun of me. So, and I don't know how to pronounce your last name. So Anna Z, and these are what we call the duality editions. This is Hell Witch portrayed with a new character named Lavidia, and Hell Witch uh, pictured with her former paramour, uh, Gotha. And then finally we have... Something I will not show you. What? So, <laughs> what? 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 Jeez. So yeah, we have a, an edition that will the, a mystery edition, which is going to remain a mystery because it's fun to do that. And I think that was limited to twenty copies. Pretty crazy. Let's check in with our time if we can. So from a time perspective, we have thirteen minutes left. So I say, start your engines, everybody. Just stand by. We're gonna launch this thing. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yep. Yes. Up? Are you properly liquored up? We got answers. All right, right. We're getting it. Get properly figured out. So let's talk to Mike again. Mike, anything uh, else you want to say from a story perspective, or um, what? What people? I like what you said about um, "Hey kid, uh, nothing to see yeah. here." This is uh, definitely uh, not PG thirteen. This is is hard R um, at, to to say the least. So not not a story for kids. It's a story for. Grown-ups, um, I, I, it's something that I'm very proud of. Um, the, the, first, the first issue, as much as we kind of hit upon the, the gratuitous nudity and all that, the, the story was, I, I think was, it was very solid. <laughs> no, not gratuitous, but um, you know, I, I thought the story was pretty solid. It was a solid revenge tale. And this is more of the same. Um, you get to see basically the deconstruction of a villain. Um, you see where they are created. And I don't think we've seen that too often um, in, in comics. I mean, it's almost the opposite of what you'd imagine, too, because we're telling a story of the challenge this character is facing where her mentor is saying she has to lose compassion, right. she has to lose empathy. It's usually the opposite. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, a different sort of exploration. I mean, we really are watching the slow making of a super villain who eventually is going to go head to head against Lady Death. And, you know, I can't even guarantee what the outcome is there. But, you know, speaking of the pages, why don't we go in the other room? We're going to show people some of the pages, and then we'll come back and show you some of the other rewards. Go, 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 go. Pages, 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 pages. <laughs> so these are some of the pages for uh, Hell Witch, The Forsaken. I'll move some of the liquor out of the way. You'll see the artwork by Diego Bernard, and then the coloring by C.C. De La Cruz. And then here's page two of the same, the super cool demonic spider character. Cool pages, colored pages. This is actually page two of the story, so the story just starts boom right away. And then there, this is a cool unnamed assassin who appears inside the story. Fun story behind her, but you're going to have to read it. And then we are we are introducing a new character named Lavidia. So Lavidia is in this story. Definitely comes into contact with uh, Hellwitch. Anything you want to say about Lavidia? Well, it's, it's a wild a woman as she looks. Um, she kind of acts as Hellwitch's conscience. Um, she is somebody who does have empathy, is trying to um, save some lost um, hellborn souls. And um, she kind of acts as Hellwitch's conscience. She, she makes Hellwitch question her own, her own uh, actions and, and her, her own um, deeds. Yeah, she provides a very nice contrast to uh, Hellwitch's journey. While we're in this room, I figured I'd like to show you guys and gals out here that we have a selection of prints. So for our reward tiers involving prints, we're going to do something a little different. So we're actually going to offer 10 prints, but there'll be a reward tier where you could pick five, or you could pick eight, or you could pick all the prints. So let's take a look at some of the beautiful work by guys like Lorenzo Sperlongia, Paolo Pantalena, 
John Boy Myers, Monty Moore, Jesse Witchman, Ali Garza, again Nathan Zerdy, and these are for our prints. Some people like the, uh, the beautiful imagery of Legend here, so we also offer that as an 11 by 17 print. We will also offer it as a high-end fine art print. I don't have one on display today, but it is coming. And then because we like to commemorate every one of our campaigns, we have the uh, Hell Witch the Forsaken premiere commemorative print, which will be individually numbered, limited to 199, and then the Risque by Sun K, which will be limited to 250 copies. So uh, people love those, I love them, I collect them myself. Why don't we come back out? We'll take a look at some more of the items that we have. More, 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 more. We got a lot of requests to see the Dan Mendoza. Oh, would you guys like to see the Dan Mendoza? Good timing. Well, let's take a look. We're here at about nine minutes, nine minutes out, what? nine minutes out. So, um, working with Dan Mendoza is a blast. We're real kindred spirits. And what I realized about Dan's work is there's always an element of uh, comedy or kind of like this joyous, mischievous quality. So knowing the story, I gave him a challenge. Uh, and the challenge was Scissor Sisters. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so take a look at our Scissor Sisters set. It's three books uh, limited to 69. And uh, they will be number matched. So it's the main. It's the risque, and it's one we call landing strip. <laughs> so take your time and really take a good look at those Dan Mendoza's. Let that soak in. And that'll be landing strip. <laughs> so yeah, that's a three book set for $69, number matched, um, real spirited. This is a hell witch having a fight with Lavidia. But is it a fight? Uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a little bit of a wrestling match that may turn into something more. Now, uh, we do have upper tiers uh, that include the High Roller and uh, what, the Unrepentant High Roller and the Forsaken Mega Baller. And I want to show you some of the books that are associated with that. But before I do, for metal trading card fans, let's take a look at our metal trading card set. We have the Lucio Perilio. We have Paolo Pantalena. We have the homage by Marat Michaels and Dan Feldmeyer. We have Jesse Wichman's image. And then we have Lorenzo Sperlongia. So that five card set is available for $51. It's also available in another tier where you get the soft cover and the set. The set will actually be number matched and it'll be limited to 199 cards a piece. So let me describe to you the high roller set, the tier, it actually includes all of the books you see here. It includes one mystery envelope, and then it will also include this book here by Monty Moore called the Hot Is Hell Edition. Frequent contributor, great guy, pal, Monty Moore. So that is a strictly limited edition, only associated with the High Roller tier, Mega Baller tier, or Legendary tier. And now I'm going to show you some of the Mega Baller tier images. This is the Metal Jewel by Jesse Witchman. Putting it in a bag doesn't really do it justice. Yeah, you can really take a look at it, see it in person. And for, uh, for grading purposes, we also offer it, whoops, we offer it in paper and we're calling this one the Hot-Blooded Edition. Hot-Blooded. Hot-Blooded. Hot -blooded. And then we have the Ali Garza. Beautiful Ali Garza image, which we are calling the Risky Pred Risque Predator. And then finally, rounding out that mega baller tier is the Lorenzo Sperlongia Risque and Slippery. And these edition. won't have the, uh, the bars, correct? Thank you for reminding me. These will not have the bars. We are putting the bars on here to comply with uh, Facebook standards. That's fair. For your but safety. For your safety. Um, we don't want to blind your eyes. We don't, you know. Whoa, we're down to five minutes, five what? minutes, five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. Well, now you've seen a lot of the rewards that we have associated with Hell Witch Hellborn. And if you have any questions or comments, you could just call them out and we could answer them for you. Um, Someone's asking about grading. Are we going to do CGC again? Uh, I think it looks like we are going to do CGC again, right? 
I think we're on board with that. Yep, we're doing it again, refining it each time. So what happens is the option to CGC or to grade a comic book will occur during the survey portion. And the survey portion is gonna, you'll see communication from a thing called CrowdOx. You know what, I know we have about four minutes, but I'd like to quickly show you our warehouse and show you that things are moving apace on Blasphemy Anthem. Cece De La Cruz says hello. Oh, hey Cece. Cece. Hey. We'll do this really quick. I just wanna assure everybody Brandon, yeah, and, and we didn't pretty it up for you. This is just kind of really what's real. So we are right now at the point that we call staging for Blasphemy Anthem. Um, so as an example, for our former legendary tier, we actually get them all assembled. We give number assignments. We begin staging all the items. Here's the hats. They're in. Chucker caps. Prints. All in. Um, still signing stuff. We signed some stuff tonight. Um, here's the Blasphemy Anthem main edition. Signed or unsigned. Done. Printed. Fantastic. Brandy Reese done a great job. This is where hot list goes. Here's where we're assembling. So we're, we offer things like uh, all of our previous editions and signed, unsigned. We even have little notes here in case I need them, like sign inside or personalize on occasion. Um, just wanted to give you a look-see. Brandy, do you have anything to say about that? We love you all. <laughs> Bill look forward to all your goodies. Bill Shaner says, buy more stuff to keep Brandy busy. That's right. Yes, always, Bill. Always. Yeah, we have, uh, check this out. So we have the beautiful fine art print under here. Oops, it's upside down, but boy, it's a pretty one. And Lorenzo is here. Oh, hey, Lorenzo. How you doing, man? Really looking forward to publishing this piece. So, again, just want to give you some assurance that everything's in good shape and we're moving at pace. Coin sets came in. And we are, our revised plan is to have everything out to you by November 8th. And that's what I know. So let's see what kind of time we have. What kind of time we got? <gasps> two minutes and 44 two minutes. seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. So we have about two minutes and 45 seconds. How you feeling, Nick G? Good, man. All right, cool. <laughs> Everybody's quietly on standby. Quietly on standby. We've seen the preview. You've seen some of the pages. If you have any questions, lay it on me. If anyone has anything to add, you just let me know. I'm just, I'm having a burp. Hang on a second. <laughs> we just had some barbecue, so I'm stoked. Less than two to go. Here we go again. This is the fourth Kickstarter that Coffin Comics has launched. We've already delivered two. We're about to deliver the third, and here we go with number four. It's crazy. <laughs> Sean, here. are you ready? I am ready to go. Nick G, are you ready? I am ready. Jeff Fang, are you ready? Killing it. <laughs> right, I want to use this answer. Killing it. Right again. I'm killing it. <laughs> Mike, here we go again. Anything you want to say to the people? Uh, just, I, I can't wait to see what happens with this Kickstarter. I, I was so pleasantly surprised in the last one. Yeah. Uh, you guys are crazy. Let's, mm -hmm. let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Presidente, anything to say? I'm just excited. I love Hell Witch. Um, I like my bitches really bad and very mean, so I <laughs> <laughs> I like my bitches bad. 90 I seconds like my to go. Bitches bad. Well, that, I mean, probably can't say it on Facebook Live, but I mean, that's what we do. We do supernatural bitches. That's, what, right we're that. that's what we're about. We love it. How about you, Jimmy Calvaries? What do you got to say? We're about to embark on this brand new campaign. What? So exciting. I uh, love doing an adult comic book. It's, it's great. You know, we got the stuff for the kids. That's cool. But now it's time for the adults to have their adult time with their adult beverages, reading adult <laughs> comics, <laughs> and have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Adulting. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Less than 50 to go. Oh, man. And then we're going to do the pressing of the button, and then we're going to see it go live. we got to find a way to get over there. Yo, I realize, Sean, we're going to actually have to swing in here a little bit. So. Yeah, 20 seconds. 20 depends. Yeah, okay. You better hurry up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get ready to get Jimmy in there to watch the whole thing. Jimmy's going to go behind you. No, you're going to get 10. He's going to get Yeah, watch it from their perspective. Seven, six, five, six, five four, three, two, one. Launch. Oh, wait, 20. 20. Launch. Launch. Oh, wait, that could be all. Oh, we're oh, launched. Shit. We are. I mean, it's time. Yeah. It's time. It's time. We're live. We're live. We're live. Let's watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Don't look at that. That's dead. All right. We're launched. What's going on? Are people backing this? 
Well, it's um. There's always the delay. It's the load. There's, there's a delay. There oh, are. there we go. They're loading. We're loading. We're loading. We're loading. Um, I'm in my messages, waiting for all. We're at zero, 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 zero. zero. Oh, well, that's <laughs> almost there. Please, uh, there you go. We got money. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Time. Go, 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 please. Whoa. Oh, whoa. We're timing it. We're timing oh, it. We're timing it. We're timing it. We're timing it. We're timing it. 3, Minute 45. 34. Will we hit our goal? Our funding goal is 15K. 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 Come on. There. We're there. We're there. Seven. Come on, people. Eight. Do this. Nine. 17 backers. Thank you, everybody. Nine. Thank you. 145. Ten. This is the number I Ten. want. Ten. We're at 10. That's awesome. Ten. 11. 11. Can we do it? We're... 12. Well, yours is faster though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going over here. I take my time. We're gonna go over the guy that's fast. We're gonna go oh, faster guy. It's getting there. Slow down a little bit. Oh, no, 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 we're stuck. We're stuck. Come on, our third. Come on. 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 That's crazy. What 20? Go, go, go. Let's keep Woo! watching it. Who knows? What's it up? <laughs> Holy cow. This is very addictive, by the way. I will it tell is. you. It's kind of addictive. <laughs> it's a true story. Like, go, 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 go. My go wife in. watched it at home last time. She's like, those numbers are crazy. It doesn't <laughs> stop. It doesn't stop. They just it's keep going. Best. So oh, I think part of what Nick's doing is he's people. putting the live link on the Facebook. Yeah. And uh, hey there, how you doing? And <laughs> Sean, when he when he starts being responsible, is when, uh, he starts <laughs> <laughs> when he starts his job. When he starts his job. When he starts his job. Give us some work, people. Give us some work. Make those add ons. There, there we go. All right. Thanks, Scott. No. He did work with number three. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's the best. We'll see you in Tucson. That's right. <laughs> Just shut it. All right. Well, all right, on the top is on. Uh oh. Come all on. you Get guys all like the stuff in the background. Amazing. Fantastic. We love you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Finally. I got to get it on my Kickstarter here. So let's see here. How many backers do we have so far? 90 right now. Thank you. Wow. wow. Nice. Thank 91. you, everybody. Hopefully, you guys, I don't know what everyone's getting. We hope uh, whenever we put this together that we're presenting stuff that you find interesting. 25 now. Amazing. Woo! 25, amazing. Donald Pledge, Daryl Pledge, Christine is right uh, number on. 25. Thank you, thank you. Steve Roy says add-ons are coming. All right, Steve. Add it on. You wanted that shirt, right? I think you wanted that shirt. Oh, we're doing shirts? We are. Yeah, we got shirts. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> yeah, we didn't uh, display that here. That's true. Like, yeah, we're doing a nice dye supplement. Uh, Hellwitch shirt. With that 100 backers. 100 backers. Wow. Nice. Hey, Hellwitch yeah. zero, zero. Bill Watson is number 54. Yeah. 100 yeah. backers. Let's go. Yeah. Eric Fifth, the backer Where number 11, got the Mendoza set. Get, get that Mendoza is. set. Hell yeah. Gotta get that. <laughs> Sean's over there doing his gig. We like looking at it. Nick's backing him up. Jeff Fang's job's a little <laughs> easier, <laughs> but there was that one time where... <laughs> that one time. That one that time. One time. One time. <laughs> apocalyptic abyss. <laughs> it was very apocalyptic when uh, we didn't start and we started 16 minutes late due to the little change we made. Unforeseen technical difficulties. Wow, that's amazing, folks. Please stand by. Right? Super cool. Hey, we didn't fade to black at least, right? We kept going. We were That's live right. the whole true. time. Yep. Yeah, we, we dealt with it. <laughs> we Oop, Michelle is number, uh, what, what did she say? She's 71. Nice. Thank you, Thank Michelle. you, Michelle. 118 backers, just shy of 30K. Christine's going to, can't wait to get her pick out her five prints. Oh, pick that's five. five. Oh, pick the pick, pick five is awesome. Pick five, Christine. You get yes. to pick them. Scott No is number 21. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Lucio Perlio, legend Jason. set. Whoa. Get them while you can. <laughs> Limit it to 60. Probably, clearly, the lowest print run Lucio Perlio book ever. Really at the height of his popularity. Amazing, amazing. 30K. Daryl Jean Johnson, number 35. The add-ons are coming. Uh-oh. Backer number nine, J.A. J.A., man. Legendary tier. You got legendary tier. Oh, right on. 
We're all Joey, out there looking with you. Yeah. Lots of fun. Joey B's got the high roller. Joey B with the high roller. Joey. Joey, Joey B is a high roller. Bill Watson got the, uh, what did he get? Oh, he jumped up. Hey, Bill. How you doing, pal? Ooh. I think got the risque. Oh, what? He's got a shirt. Bill. <laughs> the risque is really cool. Maybe we could, like, you know, show a couple. <laughs> John C, backer 86. Nice. Awesome, Brian, he says. Oh, thank God he. Slip. Nipple slip. Oh my god, we got a slippage. Uh -oh. Oh. oh my god. Look at that. Oh, show we should have show you this, but this is the risque edition. It's pierced. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. It's <laughs> art. Nothing Piercing. Smart. My eyes! My art. It's art. Pierced. My eyes have seen it. Here's the Benjamin list. Witt, number four, legend set, as right right always. Oh, right thank, you. thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, Benjamin. Apparel malfunction. Lucio Perillo, risque. Now, those are spectacular. I was going to show them. Oh, you want to see them? I want to see the nipple. Oh, hello. Hi, nipple. I volunteered actually to do uh, books for the ladies, and then you were saying, hell no, right? <laughs> like from here up. Okay. Nobody needs to, you know. No well, gratuitous jump yeah. shots. Like you don't want to see Haxon's uh, what he's playing? Yeah, man. We don't want to see Haxon's sex. Haxon. The hacky sack. Borgoth. Oh, God. Borgoth's log. <laughs> yeah. Schlongoth. Gunner. Go. Gunner's going to just, nice. like a flamethrower. Oh, <laughs> God. Jimmy takes it. All right, maybe level. we'll change our mind. <laughs> Sold it. <laughs> 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 the going down. The flames coming out of the I always thought that was a cautionary tale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is new. Look at that. The new, the new the way it's going awesome. like 151 backers, 36 feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So amazing. Yeah. That is so cool. That's fancy. Oh, it's a new way of looking at it? Yeah, because remember you used to scroll up? I'd like to point out the Coffin Comics value proposition oh. for those of you who are on the fence. Uh, each physical reward includes a free unlocked stretch goal pack. And I, I think we've already unlocked a couple, or we're about to unlock some stretch goals. That'll probably come tomorrow, historically. Um, free U.S. shipping, uh, free digital download, and free optional Polito signature. Oh. Maybe one day we'll get Mike out of retirement. <laughs> but he has a lot of responsibilities. Ooh, Monty so, Moore is watching. Hey, Monty! Oh, Monty! Monty! Yeah, Monty, here was your edition. Ooh, this is your hot as hell edition. Monty! Oh, it's spicy. Maybe there's other surprises related to Monty Moore on this campaign. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. There's a couple of different mystery editions. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> Some of us know. So the guys are, uh, although they're quiet, they're hard at work <laughs> doing their add-ons. <clears throat> Etc. Etc. Yeah. What kind of totals are we at? Thirty-six, seven, thirty-five, hundred and fifty-seven it's, backers. It's amazing. Ooh, and nice. And we're we're just a couple minutes into the campaign here. Eight minutes into the campaign. Eight give or take. Okay. Thanks. Great. Cool. So Nick is hitting up certain messaging, and uh, we encourage people not to leave your add-ons in the comments. It's very difficult for us to track. So we are encouraging you to go over to. Uh, right under Brian Polito's name, where you could send a message. And there's only 23 Ultimate Legends left, so oh, wow. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think too long about that one. Wow. There's only 23. Do it. So there's do only 23 it. Ultimate do Legends it. left. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Be that's, a legend. It's going to go fast. I'll tell you what, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a shot coming on. So. Shot, 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 shot. So I think I'll just bring this equipment in from here. So I'm saying. Are you bringing it in? Oh, bringing the lights in went in out. Oh, because oh, the lights right. went out. So it's seven. You getting some add-ons there, Sean? Getting the add-ons, putting them in, making sure that as these out. messages are coming in. I guess we'll give shot and again, choices. please I mean, do not I mean, ask for add-ons inside of the comment Tequila. section. We're not going to find them. We're not going to get to them. Sometimes we miss them. We're going to yeah, miss we them. Miss yep. Sometimes we miss them. We do our best. But again, just... Oh, we're only human. All you, um, you know, know, on a computer or add, on your Apple phones, go ahead and just, you know, click on that message button next to Brian Polito's picture and send us your request Fireball. there. Uh, otherwise, awesome. for you awesome. Android users, if you're not on a computer, then go ahead and email us at the inquiries at coffincomics.com and we'll get back to you. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. inside. Please just follow those steps. Uh, that way, that way, I can make sure that you're getting exactly what you want. Yeah, I know. This one to be like. Hey, Don McTagg is watching. Don, how are you? Don, here's your uh, edition. This is a mock-up of how your edition turned out. And it's just a mock-up. Even the back looks pretty cool. But being a, being a mock-up, there's nothing in there. Beautiful, awful. It's really cool. Nice action style. You go blind. Yep, so we're about to have some shots, because that's kind of what we do. Ooh, that's a good Patron right there. Yeah, man. Look. Offer, don't play, man. Don't. No, you don't. When I was a kid, I used to have, what was it, just the Cuervo, and it's just so so brutally harsh. <laughs> that barrel-cured uh, tequila is just so harsh. So as soon as these dudes, man, they must have changed, they changed the game. Right on. Oh, oh, classy. Skulls. Skulls. Oh, just in time for Fancy. Fancy. Who's else having a shot? Halloween? Mm. Every day is Halloween. Who's having a shot online? <laughs> and you can have a shot of whatever, man. We get it. Doesn't have to be alcohol. Okay, whatever. So no. pictures, too. You doing the shot. Post shots of you. Oh, pictures. Who wants tequila? Uh, tequila. One, two, three, four. What else you got? Five. Fireball. We have everything, man. Uh, tequila. Fireball. We have so whatever. Six. One. All right. Five. Two. Where are we at? Where are we at, Mr. Fang? 38,617. 169 backers. Nice. Nice. Thank you, everyone. I mean, as long as once we click on it, it, yeah. it blocks. Right, right. So. Whoa, Bridget, what's up? How you Bridget, doing? Bridget, 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 Bridget. Bridget's just in time for shots. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, we so launched our campaign Patron. and we're off to the races already. Awesome. Oh. Patron. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Hashtag Patron. Patron people. Hashtag Coffin Patron and some Ooh. cigars and we're good. Yep. All right. And then who wanted Fireball? Oh, do you want a Patron? <laughs> Uh, I'll take Patron over Fireball. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we have all kinds of whatever, <laughs> all types of alcohol. This, this is Coffee Comics. Whatever. Yes. Comics. We have a we got the best stock. bar yeah, in do. comics oh. history. <laughs> history. We have probably the best <laughs> bar in com comics. Does anybody comic, yeah. need anything? You're good. Do you need I'm good. good. So who would like to propose a toast? How about you, Mike? Um, oh, yes. the, the easy one is obviously to the fiends. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Yeah. And to the sworn. sworn. To the sworn. 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 Oh, God, it's sworn. like candy. Brian, what's the difference between the fiends and the sworn? Can you... Uh... I would say, for, from my perspective at least, the fiends are commonly associated with uh, Coffin Comics. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. With Chaos Comics in that particular era, which would be 1992 to 2002. And then what I would assert is the sworn can be the fiends plus our current era, the Coffin Comics era. I would call that the sworn. Sort of a state of mind both ways. Both are awesome, but um, I think calling folks fiends uh, acknowledges and respects uh, where we all kind of came from and uh, that early era. And then the sworn embodies the current energy that is Coffin Comics. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was good, honey. <laughs> <laughs> not very no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice here. Stay on my good side. Don't tell me what to do. That's why we love her. <laughs> so let's see here. It's 15 minutes into our campaign. Wow. And we're going to take a final look at where we're at. This is just the beginning. Maybe. As you know, Coffin Comics has a way of doing these things, and we do take the word campaign seriously, mm -hmm. so expect the unexpected, I think that's fair to say. Yes. Always. And uh, I guess at this time what I'd like to say is that you guys have been great. We've been Coffin Comics, and uh, Jimmy, do you have anything you want to say in conclusion? Uh, yeah, once again, I just want to say nipples. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you guys have been great. We appreciate it. We can't do it without readers like you and the collectors. You know, everything here that you guys have built, and we appreciate it. And uh, we don't take you guys for granted. So we're here rocking out the customer service. We want to make sure that we're taken care of. Whoop, whoop. We got the whoop, shipping whoop. department with Brandy. You're know, making sure you're getting your stuff <laughs> shipped like Brandy. Fort Knox. So, uh, you cool. know, a lot of, a lot of people, look, they. They skip on the shipping, they skip on the storytelling, they skip, they skip on, on the, the customer books. service, they skip on a lot of stuff. But here at Coffin Comics, 
we don't skip on shit. So you broke 40k. <laughs> shit. We just broke 40k. 40K. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Woo. 15 minutes. You guys have been great. We've been caught for comics. This is just the beginning of the Hell Witch, the Forsaken campaign. Welcome to the madness. Whoa.